great boogly tree. Nice. Uh oh. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm hmm. A. Find that Mario guy. And B. Steal the map to the crystal star. What's this now? Vivian. What's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what do you mean this? I found it near the tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. <laughs> Vivian, for shame, picking up someone's scraps. Disgusting. Greedy. But enough of that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy you, that you got from Grotus. <laughs> eh, what? I, I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. You don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustached fellow? This, this is no time for such nonsense. You bet, you great oaf. Save your games for later. She's a bitch. Give her her necklace back. Oh, what am I to do? <laughs> Hit Belda. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us! Scram right now! I have no business with you. All right. Oh, what's that over there in the corner? There, can you see it? That big tree. Oh, over there. That's so cute. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. What? <laughs> well, anyway, Mario, follow me. It reminds me of the... The the tree on the tropical island in the first game. Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. Long ago, the Puni Elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. Not to be a warrior war, but how the heck can we find a secret entrance? How are you? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Oh, this is the ghost lady. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The elder says she's a wind spirit. We can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods. So, let's head back in the direction we came from. No, it's gone! Gone, I tell you. My... My... I'm going here... Do you or do you not feel bonita? I feel bonita! Wonderful, because you look bonita! Yippee! <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> No, get out out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry? Are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so we're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madame Flurry. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. 
I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to heighten my beauty, highlight my beauty, and that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I'm all about the accessories. Hey, wait a second. You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu, big time. I swear someone said they found a necklace. You blamed me for losing the sketch, but you had it. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Silence, you twit. Now is not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. So cute. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check it out, that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah, he's Mr. Mustache. Oh, uh, uh, I don't believe this, Vivian. This is without a doubt all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Ugh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you. But no more. Baldum so mean to Vivian. Why? The three shadow sisters. The three shadow sisters? You sure? Yep, a hundred percent muted. Ha <laughs> ha. I have a button for that. Vivian, you nincompoop, what are you blabbing on about? It's just shadows, the three shadows. Sisters make us sound less mysterious and less scary. How many times must I remind you? You're really, really sure? Yes, I'm really, really sure. Hmm. It's just it makes me really happy when you call me your sister, so... How insufferably sappy. Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, Vivian. Aw, oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. Nice. Fuck. Nice. Ah, you're tougher than I thought, Mr. Mustache. Guess it's time to stop toying with you, hmm? Hit it, Marilyn, now! Ugh. What are you doing, Vivian, you twit? I'll never forgive you if you lose. Sorry, sis. Ouch! 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 You chill. Now it's up to you. Don't worry, you're fine. Okay, there goes the other sister. Sorry, sis. Nice. Oh. Don't you throw that cat at me. Ugh. Alright, sister's down. Ooh, sturdy. That's nice. Now go away. Maybe we're just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps, we would have. One, if you two pulled your weight. Both of you, prepare for a world class punishment session when we get home. Uh, but the necklace. Leave it. <laughs> Madam Flurry's here. Madame Flurry. Oh, oh my word, Mario. <laughs> yeah, that's when you use that command mark. Oh, bye. Isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a bed? Yes, indeed. 
Damn, she really entered room kitty first. She did. <laughs> I must simply thank you for your graciousness. How do you do it? How to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar. Oh my, he's like, no, no, bitch, no. Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. Oh my god. Ah, that's what it was. Those don't get auto approved. That's funny. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I can just go check my configurations later. I just didn't set it up. Oh, get more star power when your partner appeals. Oh, yes. Or so many bots being bit. Dance party. There it is. Secret entrance. That's the secret entrance. We could finally get inside. Here I go. Aren't punies just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over... The world over, but the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. Not much of a secret with the sign right there. True, but we got rid of the invisible thingy. <laughs> And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actor, and that made me real. We interrupt our program ah! to bring you this important Freakazoid. message. I love you. Now, back to our show. Uh, mm hmm. Weird. Normally, everyone's right here. What the? Hey! Hey, Elder! Everyone! Come out! Hello? Uh-oh. Next nuts. Wah! Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that... Isn't that that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this show. One, two... You are experiencing technical difficulties. Yeah, Please stay like... tuned. Are we all clear? <sighs> okay, we're all clear. Yeah. Great. All right, hit the red button. No, not that button! <laughs> I'm just reminded of how old I am. <laughs> I never watched it much, though. I just know it existed. Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. Holy shit. Big one. How do we really know this burly fellow's our ally? He might be one of them. Juniper. What are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen. We can all fight alongside Mario and chase these goons out of here. We can take back our tree. Ha! Big bag, Punio. Listen to yourself. Try to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. The elder, everyone, including your sister. <gasps> what? Petuni? Everyone was captured and taken somewhere within this big tree. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to look out, look for them right away. What are you saying, Punia? We can't do anything against those goons. Adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. Hairy old man. How can you say that? We can't know that. We have to try. Don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take on anyone. Anywhere. So who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone. Let's pull our strength. Now, the main problem area is up here. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. 